Hello students, it's 3rd April 2016, that is the day for JE main examination. Now it's time to have discussion about the paper. So let's talk about the mathematics paper. So we are talking about JE main 2016 maths paper code F, right? Starting with the question number 31. Two sides of a rhombus are along lines x minus y plus 1 equals 0 and 7x minus y minus 5 equals 0, right? If its diagonals intersect at minus 1 comma minus 2, then which one of the following is a vertex of this rhombus? Four options are given for the same. So, let us start this one. A rhombus, say like this, say A, B, C, D, diagonals a c and b d intersecting at point m whose coordinates are given to me minus 1 comma minus 2 fine two sides are given to me as x minus y plus 1 equals 0 and 7 x minus y minus 5 equals 0 solving these two equations Simply we can write minus plus plus that gives you minus 6x plus 6 equals 0 or x comes 1. Substitute this value of x here to get the value for y as 2. So the coordinate for, for point A that is 1 comma 2. We can write it. This is clear. So the coordinates of the point A we obtain as 1 comma 2. Now we can talk about the slope of this AM that is the diagonal. Okay. So, slope of a m it is 2 plus 2 that is 4 upon 1 plus 1 that is 2 hence the slope is 2. Therefore, equation of b d the other diagonal we can write it as y plus 2 equals minus half x plus 1 that is on simplifying it is x plus 2 y plus 5 equals 0. Now the other diagonal may be b c d. So if I solve this b d with a b or a d I will be getting the other vertices solving say this is equation 1 and let us say 7 x minus y minus 5 equals 0 other equation right solving these two we can get the values for x and y this point is clear ok so let us start it simply multiplying this equation with 2 so that y is cancelled we get 15 x here 5 with minus sign that is x comes as 1 by 3 so the value for x is 1 by 3 put this value here 1 by 3 to get the value for y from here or from this equation. We can get y as here 7x minus 5 that is 7 by 3 minus 15 by 3 or simply minus 8 by 3. So the coordinates we are getting as 1 by 3 comma minus 8 by 3. So the option 2 is the correct one. So, this point is clear how we proceed for this question, right? Okay, let us move to the next one.